soils all over the world basically function in the same way. They provide nutrients to plants, they provide water to growing plants and living organisms in the soil. But they differ in terms of their characteristics because they are influenced by their environment. Whether you're in a forest versus in a prairie, the soil will look different because the environment where that soil is, is different. So generally, soil are, is a resilient medium. It takes a lot of beating before it is completely damaged. But there are ways to minimize um, the detrimental effect of traffic or other activities on the soil. One is you minimize traffic activity when the soil is wet. It's like a sponge. It carries water in it. So when we get rainfall, the water soaks into the soil and is held by the empty spaces like a sponge in the soil. When you remove those empty sp spaces because the soil is compacted, then your ability to hold water, the soil's ability to hold water, gets reduced. So compaction, especially in the urban setting, is one way you reduce the benefit that we get from soil that is regulating water. So we can minimize the impact by reducing traffic when the soil is wet, by soil cover, that is having vegetation or some type of mulch cover to reduce the impact of rainfall beating on that soil. Uh, you can apply organic material to increase and expand the empty spaces that would benefit the soil or enhance the soil's ability to hold water again. So it's a long-term commitment. So you would have to add in and maintain, reduce the traffic to bring that soil back to almost its original point or orig original condition. The first thing you have to do what are the limitations on that soil? Are you having water logging problems? Are you having issues with uh, not enough nutrients for the plants that you're growing? So the first thing to do is identify what the problem is. And based on the problem, and pretty much organic matter amendment is the sure way to improve the soil, okay? For organic matter has several benefits. One you provide the, the resources or the food that are required by the organisms that live in the soil. And there are a vast array of organisms living in the soil. Second, organic matter also provides the soil uh, an ability to increase the amount of water it can soak in. So the first thing to identify is what is the problem in your soil? Okay. And then from there on, find a solution to improve that soil. And it, again, this is a long-term commitment. Once the soil is degraded, to improve it will take a while. 